We know that the man was in his 50s and was admitted to Evergreen Health with a pre-existing serious respiratory issue. That patient has died, marking the first death in the United States of someone who tested positive for the coronavirus. Another important distinction in his story is that this man is not believed to have had any contact with anyone that traveled outside of the U.S. or with anyone that had the coronavirus. That's what the CDC is calling community transmission, exposure to a virus without traveling to an impact area. He's also the second patient to test positive at Evergreen Health. The other patient, a woman whom the hospital says is currently in isolation. Continuing to care for the individual who has survived. We have expressed our condolences to the families of the individual who has passed away. We have additional individuals uh, that are being tested and in conjunction with the state health department and the state lab, we should have additional information later today. The, the hospital and the county are expecting more positive test results. A hospital official says that they're continuing to identify symptoms and test patients when necessary for the coronavirus. And listen to this. They said that if needed, they have the engineering ability to convert half of the critical care unit into an isolation unit, one sophisticated enough to stop the spread of airborne particulates. Again, this is another one of those measures that they have not done yet, but they simply say they are prepared to do should this get worse. Uh, Evergreen Health is also calling on the federal government for help. They say a team of 10 people from the CDC is expected on the ground here as early as this evening.